So the last kind of data type we can handle isn't actually a data type at all. It's actually something called an array. And the reason why I said it's not actually a data type is actually because it's a collection of a data type. So what I mean by that is, say I want to have uh, a bunch of integers together. You know, I would have to start going, well, int 1 equals 5, int 2 equals 3, int 3 equals 4. I'd have to do this a lot. And not really the most efficient way of handling some of my variables, especially when uh, I know that they are like-minded. So, for example, the days of the week, you know, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, those are uh, like-minded uh, pieces of data that I probably want to join together. I know I'm going to need uh, seven of them, so I don't want to go like day one, day two, day three or I don't want to say like Sunday equals Sunday, Monday equals Monday, what I can do is I can store them inside of an array. Now, when we start talking about arrays, we do get into uh, uh, some $5 words. And the first one is actually something called the element. The element refers to the actual kind of data inside the array. You know, if you look at, say, for example, the word Sunday right over here, that's inside of my array. That's the thing that I want. That's the, the data that I, I plan on using uh, when I'm accessing this. And we'll get into that in just a little bit. The other one is now this idea of something known as the index. The index of an array is the actual location. So when I make a collection of data type, uh, data, you know, what I'm doing is I'm actually storing it sort of in a very sequential order. Again, programming is very sequential. Uh, the computer is a very procedural machine. So when I sort of store things inside of an array, I start at index zero. Again, because the computer starts counting at zero. As I move through each one of my elements that have been added into my array, I go up to the next index. So if we again think about, say, the days of the week, Sunday starts at zero. S Sunday has an index of zero. Monday would have one, Tuesday would have two, Wednesday would have three, Thursday four, Friday, Saturday, five and six, respectively. And so now I could say if I wanted to, if let's say we call this just to say, uh, this is called uh, week days. If I wanted to access any one of these particular days, I would say weekdays, and this is where we get a little logic side of things, square bracket. This is actually specifically designed for arrays. Uh, let's say I want to access uh, Wednesday then I would, inside of these square brackets, put that index. So this is the index. So that three it goes to my array. Remember, this entire thing as a whole. And it says, which one is in index three? Well, whatever that is, bring it here. Evaluate this out, and guess what? We get. Wednesday. 